Hi, everybody. Mayor Lou Manzo back with you again. As I said, on the heels of last week's video, I wanted to circle back with you and talk a little bit about specifically our Main Street Historic Corridor. Um, we're so proud of that, that stretch uh, and, you know, what it's become, especially over the last several years, the renaissance that we're calling it, uh, that we're enjoying right now. And that's all about the business owners down there, the dollars that they've invested in their business and, and, and what it's become uh, in these last several years. And it continues to grow. So John Williams, uh, my fellow committeeman, is the liaison on our township committee to both the Historic Preservation uh, Commission and our Historical Society. So he's been a person that has had, you know, his hands in uh, ensuring that we are always cognizant of maintaining that historic charm, and especially when it comes to Main Street and anything that we do when it comes to development. So I'm going to bring him in in a moment to be able to weigh in on that. But this is all about uh, giving you some insight into some of the great things that are happening uh, on Main Street and also give you, uh, you know, some enticement that if you haven't been down there lately, you know, take the family out for a stroll and find all those, you know, hidden gems there uh, in the nooks and crannies of, of Main Street, especially with the events that we have uh, every weekend. But every day is a good day to go. Uh, so anyway, I will bring John in now and we can uh, talk about it a little bit further. Mr. Williams, how you doing? Doing well, Mr. Mayor. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, joining us. We're turning the focus of our conversation right now to Main Street and our historic district. And I really wanted to get, you know, your two cents and your perspective on, you know, some of the things that we have in place to uh, ensure we maintain our historic charm and how important that is to us. And I know that that's near and dear to your heart. So I'll give you I'll give you the floor to speak to that. Well, Mr. Mayor, you're absolutely right. Uh, Main Street is near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm the liaison to the, well, the Historical Preservation Committee and uh, also a liaison to our historic society um, because it, it's it's a part of our identity. It's a part of our town and I love it. Um, growing up in Cherry Hill and then also live, living in Washington Township, um, you know, they're, they're kind of towns that lost our historical identity. So, you know, at, that's one thing I just love about our town. It's Main Street is is vibrant. It's 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 charming. It's 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 a great place to be. Yeah, you you moved here how long ago with your family? I've been here since two thousand six. Yeah, so you know, sixteen years. I've been here for uh, almost twenty four, and you know, we all have the same story. Those of us that came in the last quarter century, we came here because of the you know beautiful open space. Uh, you know, geography is part of it, but clearly. Somewhere in our reasoning, the whole Main Street thing was in there, correct? Uh, absolutely. It, it's it's really a balance, and that's what I love about our town. It, it's you, know, you do have rural or as, rural, excuse me, rural aspects of it, but you also have you know there's residential and everything, but you do have that trace to the past is that you can walk down Main Street and and if you look at certain houses, you're in a totally different time period, even before the Revolutionary War, which is yeah. incredible. And and you use the key word there, balance, which goes to what our, you know, really what our philosophy, our smart growth philosophy has been over the last, you know, decade plus, which you've been part of that, which is to be able to strike that balance between development and growth that's going to occur. And we use our tools that we can to control some of what that is, but we also know that some of that is not within our control, but also being sure to main, maintain that balance that you're talking about. You know, you, you referenced Washington Township. You moved there just before coming here, right? Yes, sir. For uh, yep. Yeah, so 16 years ago, look, you know, in due deference to my friends in Washington Township, we didn't want to become another Washington Township. <laughs> um, Washington Township is 21 and a half square miles. We're just over 19 square miles, so pretty much the same size. We have 14,000 people that live here. There's almost 50,000 people that live in Washington Township, all surrounded by strip malls and, you know, disconnected um, communities. So we have really focused on that smart growth uh, philosophy to have connectivity in town better than it was done in the past and obviously maintain that historic charm of our Main Street district. So that goes to the other thing that you're well aware of and you've been part of. We, we took a, you know, kind of a important and drastic uh, step a few years ago 
where we have used a planning tool, the redevelopment designation in town for many years. And we've used it mainly for new development, right, John? Yes, I mean, sure. And that's, you know, for look at all the Dunkin' Donuts and the assisted living and, um, you know, pick what it, whatever is brand new, the liquor store um, and the surgical arts building. That's to be able to control kind of aesthetically what it looks like. But here we took the step and, you know, you had had a hand in this to name the entire historic district from the Harrison House down to the Yellow Garage. It's about 133 properties, I think, a redevelopment area. Yes. Now, the objective is not to take a vacant piece of land and have it be developed. It's to be able to utilize the fiscal tools available to us to give an incentive, right, to some of these uh, businesses or property owners that want to invest the substantial dollars that it takes to bring a historic property, a historic structure back to life that maybe wouldn't be possible. So give me a little bit of insight into how important you think that was. Uh, it's extremely important, Mr. Mayor. It kind of ties back to what we we're saying about smart growth. Um, Main Street is, is vital. It's vital to this town. It's vital to so, so many aspects of it. And that's why it's really near and dear to my heart. I, I love our downtown and our Main Street. And, you know, I try to encourage as many people as possible to ever get down there because it's it has so much to offer. Yeah. All the little hidden gems that people are never aware of. Right. That's what it's, you hear all the time. It really is a unique yeah. experience. And, that, and that's what I love. And kind of going back to what we were saying, you know, Washington Township, Cherry Hill, they've lost that identity. They've lost that feel. And what I love about Main Street is you have that small town charm and all of that with it. And we're maintaining it. So the examples of that tool that I was referencing uh, are now, you know, being seen. You look at some of the major renovations and these entities have taken advantage of this, you know, pilot payment in lieu of taxes option that we can provide that basically gives them the ability to recoup some of the money that they put up front. In many cases, several hundred thousand dollars or more uh, to bring a structure back. And so we look mm -hmm. at Blue Plate and the Naples renovation and expansion. More recently, the, you know, Brew and Bread Coffee House um, and a couple doors down, still, uh, you know, really under final renovations is the, the Marmo site, which is Marmo Construction and Home Building, um, that beautiful building, at, uh, you know, there on Main Street. And it will be used for the uh, corner at Main where Serendipity is, where they're going to be doing some expansions and they're on slate to use it. And we hope to use it for the Cope building or, you know, better known as a union academy to bring that back to light. So you look at those examples and this is, again, if we're looking at things that work and some things that don't work as well, the step that we took and put in place several years ago is now finally, you know, coming home to roost. And we're, we're just so proud of that. Um, and you're, you're right, Mr. Mayor. I mean, th those improvements to Blue Plate, Naples and all those places, they've added a vibrance to that downtown. It's, it's, it's never been better in my opinion. It's only getting. It's a true. It's a true renaissance period. And I want to be clear. All of those, you know, businesses that I mentioned, it's their hard-earned money uh, that they sink into the structure, and then what we're able to do with this program is to be able to give them, for lack of a better term, a bit of a tax abatement over the course of several years uh, that gives them some of that investment back on the on the back end and gives them, you know, kind of a cash revenue certainty. So that's always important in business. So um, we're so glad that it's working. And again, uh, our historic charm is something that's very important to us. Absolutely. Anything else before we close off? No, I would just like to encourage people again, since we're talking about Main Street, shop local. If you haven't been down there in a while, please go down and experience it. Help our local community. But just soak it in because it, it's, it's a very unique place. It's a very unique community. And um, that's all I got. So it's just shop local. Yeah. Any, any, any day of the week is a, is a, is a good time, but we obviously have a lot of uh, events to come up. And so, you know, take John's advice. And uh, I want to thank you all for listening and taking the time to listen to this update. And if for some reason you share any of this with a neighbor um, or someone in town and they're saying, well, I didn't see that. That's because they're not connected to Mullica Hill connect. And they don't get the yeah. weekly happening in the Hill email or these videos that we put out and updates uh, that are important. So, you know, take the time to share with them, you know, www.mullicahillconnect.com and they can sign up voluntarily to receive these uh, communications also, because that is the something else we pride ourselves in being, the, you know, the best connected and most communicative uh, leadership team uh, in the county. And we take great pride in that.
So again, on behalf of John and my other fellow committee members, thanks for listening. Take care. Thank you, everyone.